Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily create a, a heat map in, in Google Sheets where it's easy to see um, values on a map where the highs and the lows are. In this example I'm going to use gas prices from uh, website gasprices.aa.com so it's got a breakdown of the, the current gas prices or the gas price averages by by state and so my goal is going to be to put this into a map chart so that it can visually be easy to see where the highest and lowest gas prices are in the country so i've already copied the data in here so it's already ready to go and within google sheets there's an easy chart that you can use for this so if i go to insert chart and scroll down here, there's an option for a map chart, a geo chart. So I select that and, you know, right now this doesn't look very useful or helpful because one of the problems here is it's recognizing Georgia, the country, as opposed to Georgia, the state. So to fix this, I'm going to go to the customized section and under geo, instead of world, I'm going to select United States. And now it correctly maps out these values so now it's a bit more helpful and so what i can do is maybe adjust the ranges uh the colors of this so so green is for the minimum the maximum you know indicating a very high price would be red a middle value being yellow and then just like that you know we can easily scroll over this and see you know that the, that the highest prices appear to be in in california and hawaii whereas the green the low values are around the south and in Texas and then you've got more moderate values in Alaska and in in the East Coast and so visually this gives you a whole lot more information than you know just looking at this table where you may may be tempted to sort and so one of the cool things about Google Sheets is it makes creating this chart as you saw pretty simple and easy you can do within seconds as long as you've got the detailed information where Google Sheets can figure out what you're what part of the world you're talking about it's pretty easy as i said georgia was a bit of a unique um one in the sense that it the state shared the same name as a country so it wasn't obvious to google sheets but by changing those geo settings to united states it's a lot easier to help it and then at the bottom you also have the benefit of seeing that range so we've got a low of 3.1 to a high of 5.42 so that low was texas and the high was california and then everything else falls in in between but it makes it a, a lot easier to, to visualize the data as opposed to going for going in and relying on just the table so that's how you can create a easy to use map and and heat chart in google sheets